Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. In this video, I will explain and show how we could uh, run a fast API uh, endpoint uh, to serve uh, concurrent users when certain long operation runs uh, on the endpoint and uh, how still be able uh, to allow other users to execute um, operations on the same endpoint concurrently. Uh, so let's see how this works. And yeah, by the way, there's a standard way uh, to enable concurrency uh, for fast API uh, endpoints using async await. Uh, but in my specific case, this doesn't work uh, because endpoints are executing um, uh, hanging face ML models, uh, fetching models, then executing inference tasks and uh, uh, hugging face uh, API doesn't uh, uh, support or doesn't work uh, with um, a sync await implementation that uh, works in fast API and this means it doesn't uh, help and uh, even you would use a sync await then still uh, <clears throat> there would be no concurrency and uh, if a user would run long inference operation then any other concurrent user would be blocked and should wait until the uh, response would complete for the first user. Uh, but luckily, there is a way uh, to uh, scale up fast uh, API application uh, with uh, multiple workers. When you uh, uh, run fast API application on uh, on a Ubicorn server, then uh, when during a startup, you could uh, set and <coughs> set uh, uh, multiple workers, uh, specify how many workers you would uh, like to use to run this uh, fast API application, and then uh, the first user would be served by the first worker and uh, until this long operation for the first user would run, uh, if a second concurrent user would come, he'll be served by a second worker without any blocking. Of course, if uh, many users would come at the same time, then uh, they'll wait, but it all depends on your infrastructure uh, and hardware and the service. So if you plan to serve uh, multiple concurrent users, then you should have um, stronger hardware and start uh, multiple workers and uh, yeah, th then it should work fine. In more complex use cases, probably you would deploy multiple uh, hanging face instances and do uh, clustering and so on. But for the simpler cases, uh, uh, starting up multiple workers works fine. And let's see how this works. So this screen, this is the basic um, endpoint that returns statistics. If I click execute, I get instance response. Response is instant. Now, if I would go uh, to the application, which using exactly the same uh, fast API in the backend, and here I would run a long uh, operation which does uh, text extraction from the document. It runs inference. And if I click extract data and I'll come back over here, click execute. And now <clears throat> uh, it will wait because uh, the same, this single thread available out of the box for this application. And uh, since this long operation executed by another user uh, is still running, then uh, the second request, concurrent request, is not processed until uh, the first one will be complete. So if you'll uh, wait a few seconds, okay, we got back results over here. And now if I come back here, then you can see instantly this operation was complete as well. And now, since there are no long operations running in the background, it runs fast. This is because uh, a situation like I described before, by default, fast API application runs a single thread, and if the thread is blocked, then all the other concurrent users will wait until um, operation will be complete. And yeah, typically, uh, in other cases, uh, probably a sync await would wait, and uh, in, uh, a sync await would work, and this means that uh, even if you have a long running operation. Uh, it um, fast API will ensure that um, it will not block the thread somehow it runs in parallel. Uh, but it's not the case when using, uh, for example, hugging face API, and I'm, I'm sure uh, probably some other APIs if you would use um, that would not be compatible with fast API async await implementation, you will get the same the same thing. And yeah, yeah, like like in this case, this uh, uh, post uh, endpoint for the fast API application we call process document done function it's over here and inside that function we uh, call load model 
and we load hanging face model here and uh, this code is not compatible with async await uh, this uh, api code and and then when we execute um, inference over here we generate the output um, uh, for the text output uh, based on the image using uh, the model then this this code is also uh, doesn't run with uh, async await but solution is, uh, is simple. Uh, when you start uh, fast API application with Ubicorn, you should specify multiple workers. Of course, it depends on your hardware and uh, uh, as many workers you could run depends on, on, on the hardware configuration, but uh, uh, normally like four workers should work um, almost on every environment, I guess. So to improve your application uh, concurrency, and uh, improve the execution, you should uh, use multiple workers when application is deployed in production in order to help uh, concurrent users and uh, to make sure when longer operations run, run they would not block uh, the users. So this was a quick hit, uh, hint and uh, probably if you are already working with FastAPI for some time, you will be familiar with this, but for the people who are just starting with FastAPI, uh, I think it will be very useful to understand because out of the box, when you just start fast API application, it doesn't uh, support concurrency uh, out of the box. And to support concurrency, either you should use async await if this works with the third party API, which you are integrating into your endpoints. If this doesn't work, then uh, you should uh, start multiple workers uh, and this way, uh, this way, um, multiple concurrent requests will be served because uh, let's say first longer uh, operation will be handled by the first uh, by the first worker and when concurrent request will come then the server will, will check that the first worker is still busy and will, it will assign the task to be done by the second worker and so on so thanks for watching and see you next time bye